Walk it in the rain! Yeah! Walk it in the rain! Yeah! Walk it in the rain! Yeah! Rain begin! Only those who are willing to risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Look, you gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe. And you can go further than you think. Listen to me, you in three and you got six gears, but you're accustomed to three, you're accustomed to four. I challenge you, I challenge you to push into all the gears you got. Give it everything you got. Listen to me, you think I thought I was gonna write a book? You think I thought I was gonna be an author? Do you think I thought I was gonna be marching this year with a PhD? Do you, do you think I thought I would be traveling the world, NFL, NBA? Do you think I thought I would be doing this as a high school dropout, as somebody that was home? Do you think I thought I would go this far? But I pushed it, I said, I wanna see how far I can go. I wanna see what I can accomplish. I wanna see what I can do, what I can be, what I can have. I wanna see. I don't want to see what I think I can do. I don't want to see what I think is possible. I want to see what my life would look like if I didn't count the cost and if I was willing to go further than anybody else was willing to do. If I had the mentality that, Eric, you got to want it. You got to want it as bad as you want to breathe. And I woke up and here I am. Right? January, February, March, first quarter living. It's a wrap. It's over. It's done. Now listen to me very closely, guys. Y'all been hearing me talk about this over and over and over again. Like, listen to me for real. January, February, March, like it's gone. Okay, let me say it like this. You will never, ever see January 2013 again. You will never, ever see February 2013 again. You will never, ever see March 2013 again. It's over. It's a wrap. And that's why I said, guys, one of the keys to success, listen to me, there's a direct correlation between time and success. So one of the blueprints to success, guys, is you got to have a sense of urgency. All right. And so it's over. So I started. All right. I started. I started with you matter. I told you that you're phenomenal, powerful beyond measure. We talked about your dreams and your goals. And listen to me very closely. The reason why I did that is because it's you have access to you. And I, I just need you to get started, right? I just need you to get that ball, because I talked about it. Once you can get that momentum going, once that momentum gets going, boom, there's no telling where you can go. You're not where you are because you don't have an opportunity. The reason why I've been telling you don't be average, don't be good, try to be great and be phenomenal. The reason why I told you that is because, listen to me, you, 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 you gotta understand. You have to understand if you stay average and you stay good, you'll never get to where you're trying to get to. You understand? You got Great is about growth. It's about going from the Wright Brothers to the small little plane to a 757. Are you hearing me? That's 757 in you. And you still operating on the Wright Brothers plane. Like you still on that level. So there are those of you who are watching me, yup, yup, you're fruitful, but you've not multiplied. You've not taken it to that next level. And so second quarter living, we're gonna talk about taking it to a whole nother level, a whole nother dimension talked about being phenomenal and being forgotten. Why? Why? We're going to second quarter living. Why do I keep saying be phenomenal and be forgotten? Because Martin Luther King is no longer physically with us. We still remember. When you're phenomenal, you're not forgotten. You keep hearing me talk about Mother Teresa. We can't forget about it. I was just in the grocery store the other day. They got the magazine, the hundred people who changed the world. She's on there. Gandhi's on there. Martin Luther King is on there. Steve Jobs made it on there. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you? Because you think I'm just talking about people from back in the day.
scripture told me, you got to get away. You got to run from average like a plague. And then when you get to good, you got to make up in your mind that good is only to going to be for a few moments. It's just a, it's just a platform. You're going to get out of good and you're going to go to great. And then you're going to be like your boy, man, for real. I'm trying to transition. I'm trying to transition. I'm trying to go from great, man. Look, for real, I've been, I've been out of the country. I did that. I got the passport. I seen the world. I did that. I got the degree. I did it. I've been there, done that. I, I'm married. Yup. Got the house. Yup. Picket fence. Yup. Two kids. Yup. I got it. And now I'm trying to let other people taste it. I'm trying to let other people feel what it feels like to break a cycle. I'm trying to let other people feel what it feels like to make their dreams become a reality. Are you hearing me? So I'm getting out of here. Be phenomenal. Be forgotten. First quarter living, I'm going to let you slide. <laughs> I'm going to let you slide with that stuff. All right? I'm going to let you slide. But there's a problem. And the problem is some of you stuck on average. I need you to transition from average to good. And some of you stuck on good. I need you to get rid of good. You're comfortable in good. Get out of good because they're not going to remember you. You're going to be forgotten. But if you are phenomenal, you will never be forgotten. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You will never be forgotten. somebody you're not good enough and they do everything in their power to tell you why you're gonna fail and if you believe them you become one of them Pass. We're proud of you. I've never been so proud of watching the guys play a game. These are the moments I'm talking about now. All right? Bring it up. Let's get a break. Let's bring it up. Let's go. Yeah. That's the Red Hawks on three. One, two, three. Yeah. You look around and you know this is the last time this team's ever going to play together again. It's the last time we're ever going to collectively be together ever again. Enjoy it. 